Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do. It's gonna be a new Will I Buy It? This is my series that I post every single Wednesday. I'm gonna chat with you over all of the new makeup releases, let you know my thoughts on them, talk about what I'm interested in picking up, what I'm not so interested in, some makeup news for the week. So we do have a lot to talk about. Let's go ahead and get started. Disclaimer, I have not filmed a video in like 10 days. So I'm like, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> so where's the camera? Okay, where should I look? Okay. Alrighty, so yes, I have not filmed in a while. Um, I did also want to say I've had videos up on my regular schedule. I knew that I was going to be taking some time off, so I pre-filmed and everything going up on a schedule, but the last video that I filmed was actually last week's Will I Buy It? Will I Buy It? I waited until the last second to film that one, and I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for all of the comments and the support. On that video i appreciate it so much but i'm excited to get back into the swing of things again probably be a little rusty this week but i'm excited to get back into the swing of things so i'll link my playlist down below as well as the community playlist where creators can add this style of video if you want to see what a bunch of people are thinking about all the new releases i did also do a little bit of filming on this look did i put bronzer on today I filmed mostly this eye look. I did get the ColourPop Bambi collection, so I wanted to use that right away. And then I got the new <gasps> Ofra highlight in collaboration with It's Stuff Tom's. It's so beautiful, the Milk and Cookie highlight. I have one of the new Persona e-balms, right? E-balms on today also. So yeah, I did some filming for my Instagram reels, which is the worst thing in the world, but this video will be going up on my reels if you're interested. If you did miss it last week, I do have a, a giveaway that is still open in last week's Will I Buy It video, so I can link that video if you'd want to get entered into the giveaway. But let's hop in because definitely I have a lot to chat about. So I filmed for last week's video on a Friday, so obviously a lot came out over the weekend. A lot came out throughout this last week here. So this week might be a bit of a longer one, but I wanted to start off with Natasha Denona because I got so many tags on this one. You guys know I love my Natasha Denona, my palettes, highlights. I mean, her lip products are now starting to pull me in. I'm just a big fan of the Natasha Denona brand. So she's coming out with a new eyeshadow palette and the tags that I started getting, oh yes, my hair, we didn't even try. No trying today. Okay, so we have the Circo Loco palette by Natasha Denona. A colorful story with 15 different shades and finishes, pastels, bright and deep shades. Um, right now it's saying 129 will confirm the price. Okay, so I will link all of the Instagram accounts I read from always down below. Right now I'm reading off of Trendy Mood 1. Not a lot of people like this palette. A lot of people are very mad at this palette. I've seen, I've seen so so much feedback on this palette and not really any of it is positive and I'm gonna say that I'm almost a little bit surprised I thought I don't know why I just never know what's going on in the makeup world I probably should just stick to books but like so I was like oh I feel like people will like this these like deeper tones some of these jewel tones there's color in here like sometimes Natasha I feel like can lean a little bit on the neutral side like I don't feel like all of her palettes are neutral I, I mean I love the love palette obviously which is pinks and purples but i don't know even like the metropolis palette i just i really thought people were gonna be like awesome right on and people hate it so i'm like okay so the color scheme is not necessarily for me so even though i do enjoy the natasha formula and i'm willing i'm willing to shell out the $65 for the midi palette. I did purchase the Biba palette, but I got it on sale and with a gift card. So I'm not like fully there to just go spend the $129. But this color story I don't think would be for me. I think I would look, I, I feel like I would just not really be sure what's going on here. Um, but honest, like, but honestly, if this was the 65 and I'm hearing rumblings that maybe the Sephora sale is starting soon, I mean, I might buy it. <laughs> I don't know if I just really like Natasha Pals that much, but I'm like, I don't know. I mean, orange is really pretty with green eyes, so I feel like I could make something happen there. There's a really pretty emerald. I mean, some of the blues are not really going to be for me. I don't know. I don't hate it. Am I the only one that doesn't hate this palette? Again, if it's the 129, I'm out. I'm out. It's the, like, I'm out. I got my Club Nebula. I feel like that has, 
you know, a variety of colors in there. There's those jewel tones, there's those deeper colors. You know, it kind of pushes, I feel like this, not that they remind me of each other, but kind of the concept of like, it'll push me creatively. That's what I think with my Club Nebula. That's what I would think of this one. If it was the 65 and I could get it on sale, maybe. Am I the only one? I started seeing some tags. I think this was just posted today. Um, a new release from Fenty Beauty. Yeah, this was just posted today. So I'm filming this on Monday. Um, so let's see. This is from Fenty Beauty. This is the new body sauce. Okay. A blurring body tint to enhance the skin you're in. Late to medium buildable coverage to even out and instantly blur away the appearance of blemishes and imperfections. Seven shades for $48 will be available March 5th. So my first thought is the, oh my gosh, what is it called? Oh, no, 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 the body, wait, what? The body blur? Is that right? I can't remember. There is a product. I mean, I still have it. I should, well, I guess I don't really know exactly where it is at this given moment, but there's a product that I still have. I want to say it was the body blur and I loved it. Like I still pull it out in the summer times and I'll put it like on the backs of my legs because I do have cellulite. I have stretch marks. It just makes me like feel a little bit more confident. So it's kind of what I'm thinking maybe that this is along those lines. So I don't mind it. It definitely makes me feel like maybe warmer, warmer weather is coming. We're actually supposed to have a pretty decent week in Iowa in case you needed the forecast. I think it's supposed to get up to the 50s, which means I'm going to be able to walk my dog, which means she is going to be very happy, which is going to be great. Do I absolutely need it right now? I don't think so, but like I'm interested in it though. I'm pretty sure I still have like a decent amount of my body blur left and I could just use that. Colourpop is coming out with a new product. This is their Cheek Dew Serum Blush. Pillow Soft Formula combines skin loving ingredients with this says feet rush of color. Sounds a little OnlyFans to me, but uh, okay. Not really sure what we're trying to say there, but I'll, but, but I'll go with it. It's going to be available on March 4th. So crazy that it's March. Are you kidding me? So crazy. I don't see a price on this post right now, but I'm sure it'll probably be pretty affordable. So I'm also interested in this. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? I'm not really sure what's going on. Uh, I saw some uh, some predictions come in. I posted a was it a ColourPop or um, not a ColourPop an Instagram photo or video? I'm telling you, I'm very rusty. Uh, it was either a photo or a video, but I was just talking about how much I enjoy Auric products. I did post my makeup monthly for the month of February, which is where I rank all of my products that I've been trying out. And Auric ranked real, real high. If you haven't seen that one, it ranked really high. And so many of you have predicted that 2021 is the year that I really fall in love with cream or liquid products. And I could see it happening. Like I, I could see it. But I am definitely interested in these. So I am still getting um, a PR from ColourPop. Like I said, I have the Thumper palette on today. The lashes I don't feel like did 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 me good, but um, I do have the lashes on today. I used one of the eyeliners in the trio that it came with. So if I get this, I will definitely try it out. If not, I could I could see myself throwing one into my cart though. It just sounds interesting. It looks fun. Yeah, I would, yeah, I'd try it. <laughs> All right, also got a lot of tags on the new products from Urban Decay. These are available now at Ulta. We have the 24-7 Moon Dust Shadow for $22. Uh, the 24-7 just Shadow for $19. The 24-7 Shadow Stick for $26. All right. I feel like a lot of people are really excited about the individual shades. The Moon Dust ones that are really sparkly and shiny, those look cool. Like I could see myself, like if I really wanted to grab one, I would probably grab one of those just because they seem, if I'm going for a single shadow, I really want it to be something that's like over the top and special that I can't get in my palettes because I'm just much more of a palette girl. So if I'm doing something individual, I needed to have like a little extra oomph and that's what I believe the moon dust ones are. So just the regular ones, probably not as interested in. The shadow stick, I don't feel like I would need, but I think a lot of people are really excited about this, which is awesome. Like I'm, I'm happy to see it. Do I, do I need anything right off the bat? Man, I feel like the more I look at the swatches, I'm like $22. <laughs> It's a solid maybe for me. I could throw this in my cart. Oh good, it's an add to cart kind of video. I haven't had one of these in, you know, 
a couple weeks. Just keep going with the with the cute stuff that I'm intrigued by. Okay. Just in time for Easter, new collection, new collab, Hip Dot and Peeps. Hip Dot cracks me up. I know that it's not for everybody because I know I've had some people be like, I don't, I don't understand the collaborations. I kind of like that it's a little different. Like, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at like the different types of collabs that we're getting. But can we stop and just look at the four piece makeup sponge set that are shaped like chicks? Because you know my eyes went to that immediately. I was like, stop. Also, oh my gosh, is this like... This might be an unpopular opinion video, actually. Do you like peeps? Do you? Because I do. Are you not supposed to like peeps? Because I feel like I, I hear peeps really getting talked down upon often. But I quite like them. Just a little, like, a little marshmallow. I mean... I really feel like you could do anything with a marshmallow and I would probably be happy with it. Probably. I just really enjoy them. So I like peeps. <laughs> feel free to sound off in the comments. So definitely the sponge set, that jumped out at me right away. The eyeshadow palette, I, I get the color scheme and it does feel very like Easter, very spring-like to me. Um, six pastel shades in a matte finish, that's $24, or you can get the bundle for $40. Will be available March 2nd on the website and also at Ulta Beauty. I actually got a DM from HipTot saying that they did want to send this to me, so I don't know if they will. I haven't received it yet. If they do, I will be very excited about it. If they don't, I'll purchase the sponge set on my own. Beep. <laughs> what else should we talk about? This is just like putting me in a good mood. It's so weird that like when you don't film for such a long time, I was like nervous about it. I was like nervous doing my makeup. I just, I don't, what's that about? I'm just so used to filming nearly every day that I'm like, ah, what's happening? Definitely got a lot of tags to talk about the new collection from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. I'm, I'm happy to see a new collection. I figured something would have to be coming pretty shortly after it was announced that the brand is going to be carried at Ulta Beauty. So I was just kind of waiting to see what it would be. So new launch, a full collection of face powders. We have seven baked blush and bronzer duos. And the highlighters are back in singles. And there's also a new shade of the loose beaming highlight. So we'll be available March 2nd and then March 7th at Ulta Beauty. So I know a lot of people... Um, we're really curious of my thoughts of the blush and bronzer duos especially. I will say nothing really like jumped at me right away. And I feel like, so this says the launch available March 2nd, but I could have sworn, or that must have just been PR. I, I, I'm like, I'm almost positive that I've seen videos. I really haven't even watched any YouTube. I have no idea what's going on with the world. I literally <laughs> shut myself off. Off the bat, I'm not super interested in it. You know, I've had some issues with the brand in the past that hasn't made me want to like run out and get the products uh even though i'm sure it'd be great view wise and everything and people would be curious about it but that's also not how i want to make my makeup purchases never wishing anyone like bad things at all but there i mean there just does have to be a time where it's like I, you know what i'm not super interested in this because of things that have already gone on. I'll definitely watch the reviews and I'll see what people are thinking. And I love blush and bronzers. So, so if people are saying that these are fabulous, you know, maybe I would give them a try, but I don't feel like I need to be first in line once again to, to try something out. And that's, that's okay. And I hope, I hope that they're great products. I also really like the shade range. I think that that is, that's great. I don't see prices on this one either, but I know um, she tended to be a little bit more of a higher price, but yeah, I'll definitely watch some reviews and see what people are thinking. And if it's good stuff, you know, maybe I'll throw it in my cart in the future, but I feel like there's a lot of other things that are interesting me right now too. Let's talk about some makeup news also. I, I typically will share like makeup news in these videos also, but that Becca Cosmetics is closing down. I'm quite shocked. I, and also very sad. And in last week's video, I think the news was announced like on Wednesday morning. It was either like Tuesday night or Wednesday morning. And obviously I had pre-filmed very far in advance. Um, and so, and I, I felt bad because in that video, uh, you know, I talked about their new palette that they were coming out with. And I just said, you know, I wasn't super impressed with it. I wish there had been more options, more of a, you know, shade range to accommodate more people. Um, so it, it just was bizarre to me to have a new release coming out and then the very next news be that they were shutting down. 
uh, I believe it's going to be in September of this year. Yeah, the closing of our brand in September 2021. It makes me very sad because I do feel like I have been, you know, a little bit hard on Becca Cosmetics in the past, but not again, I, I, re I really don't think of myself as a negative or a mean spirited person, but I do also think of myself as an honest person. And when I see something from a makeup brand that doesn't make me impressed, I will speak about it. Um, and with Becca, I just felt like I, but you know what, I, you know what I feel like bothers me is that I really felt like they were going in a direction like I, I felt like they were trying you know their no pigment I know was like kind of like huh but it got people talking <laughs> which was like okay but I, I just I was really hoping and they had some other new collections that were coming out I, I just I, I, I was hoping that they would make like a turnaround or make a comeback because they were a favorite brand of mine for such a long time I had a, a, a large Becca Cosmetics collection at one point and I really enjoyed their products and then I, I feel like a lot of us could kind of see the fall off and like kind of kept doing the same things not not a lot of newer stuff was happening and it just I I it, it 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 just truly does make me sad I really do feel worried for other makeup brands obviously COVID-19 has had a huge effect on every business no matter what industry that you're in COVID, I mean, COVID has affected everybody. It's been a year. Let's get serious. It has affected literally everybody. Um, but it just, it makes me sad to see the businesses closing. It makes me sad for the restaurants. It makes me sad for the small businesses. It makes me sad for the makeup brands. I just think it's sad. And I'm worried that we're going to see it from more brands too. And some of our staple brands that have been around for a long time. I, it makes me sad. It makes me sad. So, you know, something that I was saying at the beginning of COVID when I kept putting out makeup videos and other creators were putting out makeup videos and, and such and people were, were saying that we shouldn't be talking about makeup at this time or buying makeup or whatever. One thing that I said in the beginning is that these are businesses and these are businesses that employ people. Like no one wants to be losing their job in this situation, in this economy. No one does. Telling people, I think I have a problem with just telling people what to buy or what not to buy anyways, because I just, that doesn't make sense to me. Everyone's different, everyone. If you have extra money, you're gonna decide what to put that money towards, and it's gonna be different from the next 10 people that you're standing next to, right? Some people are gonna wanna put it towards makeup. Some people are gonna wanna put it towards home renovations. Some people are gonna wanna put it towards travel. It doesn't matter, we're all different. Like, I don't feel like we should tell people how they should spend their money or shame them for for what they what they spend their money on and i felt like that was happening a lot especially within the makeup and the beauty industry at the beginning of covid and one thing i kept saying was these are businesses and they employ people and people rely on this and health insurance and all of these different things and you know it's just really unfortunate to see of course i'm not saying just buy make <laughs> you just can't say anything on the internet these days but um, you know, I'm not saying that you buying a highlighter is going to keep one business afloat by any means, but you know, it's just, it's such a hard time. It's such a hard time for so many people and beauty often, I think what I'm trying to say is that beauty often gets perceived as this really vain thing and this thing that is not as important as other things. But people's jobs are jobs and they're important. What I have to say about that, because I know a lot of people are asking me my opinions on it and Makes me sad. I wish I wish it wasn't happening. Let's keep it going though. So Alamar Cosmetics is coming out with some new lashes. I think this is their first time releasing lashes, so that's really exciting. There's four different styles. They're gonna be $14 each or a bundle for $50. I believe that these are on sale now on the website. These all look fun. I I need to I need to be getting some more Alamar Cosmetics. I need to place an order from the website. And if I did, I want those like the blush, of course blush and bronzer what's my problem but i would i would totally throw in some lashes <laughs> what is my problem more we have more beauty news more beauty news um chris jenner filed a trademark to lock up rights for future beauty brands chris jenner beauty chris jenner skin and chris jenner skincare okie dokie then I don't have any other information it's just that's been trademarked which is which is fine but I'm not super enthused, like I'm not like jumping out of my, my skin with joy, but you know, keep an open mind. See what's gonna happen. Uh, also, Hindash 
talented artist Hindash is his own brand coming soon in March. Fabulous. Fabulous. Okay. So some new brands to watch for. I don't see anything else on Hindash either, just that it is coming in March, which is now this month which I still can't get over. From Beautylish, they are coming out with a new brush series, the Yano series eye set. All right, so it looks like we have five different eye brushes will be available now on Beautylish and it is $180. So these brushes, when Beautylish comes out with them, they are a little bit out of my price range. I know a lot of people that love them so much. So if that's you, that's amazing, but Probably I'm gonna pass on that for myself. KVD Vegan Beauty. Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. Full coverage for normal to dry skin with a fresh matte finish. $38 in 40 shades will be available March 12th online. And at Sephora and Ulta. So I do have more oily skin, so right away it says for normal to dry, so not really sure that this would work for me. Uh, I do like my Kevin Aquan foundation balm, so I was initially kind of curious about this. The shade range looks really fabulous from what I see. 40 shades, I think that's great, and at 40 shades it looks like, like actually like evenly distributed, <laughs> which is not always what we see even with 40 shades. So that's really great. Um, not a lot from KVD Vegan Beauty, even after the rebrand is really gotten my attention that looked interesting I just don't know if it'll be geared for my skin type if you'd want to see it on oily skin if you think that would be helpful let me know we have from Trixie Cosmetics we have the daytime realness collection a revival of the glamour and pageantry of 80s TV oh okay so there's an eyeshadow palette with eight shades there is some glitter an accessory pack a logo mug apparel Ooh, there's a lot going on will be available February 26th so that's available now a lot of these blues in the palette which I don't always tend to go for it myself so probably not a collection for me and like with the glitter and everything probably not a collection for me but then also another blue palette that is releasing so BH Cosmetics has their birthstone collection so we already did the zodiac collection with BH now they're doing the birthstone collection and we have a new month. So they just dropped the Aqua Marine Palette for March. Oversized, sparkling, light blue hero shade, range of blues, plus warm to cool tone neutrals. Pressed glitter, matte, and shimmer finishes, and it's gonna be $9. So I was really curious what this one would be like, like when this was announced in you know December or January. I was already really curious about March because I love my birth month, and I love being in Aries and all of those things. So I was like, ooh, what's it gonna look like? I love my birthstone, aquamarine. Like that's like, I have a lot of different aquamarine jewelry for my birthstone. I think it's such a beautiful color. Not really a color that I wear for makeup though. So I was like, ooh. Like, we'll, we'll see what it looks like. So again, I don't do the blues often, but I, I feel like I like the blues that are in here. And then we have that kind of more of that emerald shade, which I do think is really pretty. And then some of the bronze, I don't, it's only $9. Like, I'm kind of thinking I might get this one. What do we think? I know, I'm just like getting, I just like can't be stopped this week. I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, I kind of like this one. Because it's not too blue. Like, I feel like I could make it work. And even if I just wanted to do a simple brown look, like, I could make that happen. People have been speaking highly about BH recently, so I might get that one. Bare Minerals is coming out with a new product. That's what I have on today. I have the Bare Minerals bronzer on. Okay, there we go. I was like, I could have swore I put bronzer on. Perry, are you wanting my hair? What are you doing? Not even Perry likes my hair today. I get it. I get it, okay? It's been a hot second since I've done my hair. Anyways, Bare Minerals. Coming out with the Gen Nude Blonzer. Blonde, okay, brush and bron bl blush and bronzer for $24. Whew, the Mineralist Lip Gloss Balm for $20. So looking, I didn't realize it was, I just thought it was a blush. It's a blush and a bronzer? I just like don't see. I just like don't see it. A two-in-one blush and bronzer hybrid combines the rosiness of a blush with the warmth of a bronzer. I was expect I would I would expect it to be because Ofer just released products like this too, but it's a their split pan and you have the bronzer and the blush. This is just like, huh? For some reason I'm intrigued though. Why why why? 
why. I'm intrigued about everything this week. Alrighty, some more eyeshadow palettes we have from the Crayon Case. These are the new Traveling Mini Notepads, the perfect compact and discreet cheat code for beauty class. All right, eight notepads, eight shades each, different finishes for $12. I don't feel like I need any of these. I feel like, I feel like I'm good. The Crayon Case, I don't know, doesn't, doesn't jump out at me a ton, so I'm gonna pass on those. Um, this is also a really interesting physician's formula is coming out with these new kits the butter believe I'm keeping it safe kit for $20 and also the rose take the germs away kit for $20 I don't know what could have inspired this club truly I just don't know hand sanitizer lip mask sheet mask hand cream a pair of reusable gloves a reusable face mask like where is this coming from I'm just I just don't understand obviously I'm getting fun that's I mean it's like it's like kind of humorous, right? Like we have to be laughing about something, right? It's been a year. I don't think I necessarily need it for myself, but but I get it. I, I like, I, I get the concept. I get the concept of it. Some more brushes. We have a new collab with Spectrum Collections and Katie Jane Hughes, who's a fabulous makeup artist. So this is a 25 piece glossy olive professional brush set. So there's brushes, a tube case, a towel, Oh, it's $235. Okay, okay, okay. Well, and it's available to pre-order now. That's a lot of brushes you're getting and the case and the towel. Ah, I feel like the brushes would be really nice also. I just like have this feeling. I just, and you know, I love brushes. I feel like I probably don't need it, especially because there's so many things that are calling my attention right now. But I'm intrigued, obviously. Everything intrigues me. Mini Cosmetics is coming out with some new products in the Complexion Collection. We have the Primer, Serum, and Hydrating Mist Duo. So you can get the Serum for 28, the Mist for 32, or the Bundle for 52. And it looks like this is available now. Okay. You know, I've tried a few of the Dominique Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes, and I like them, but I really haven't tried much else from the brand. I feel like she came out with some other Complexion products. Maybe it was a... Is that the collab with um, JD Weighty? I didn't try those. I didn't hear much about them either, so... I don't think I, this is something that I'm going to be rushing to get for myself, but they are available now. Always exciting to see. Uh, Estee Lauder is coming out with a new blush. This is the Rebellious Rose Pure Color Envy Blush. It's rosy color, cream to powder blush. It's going to be $32 and it's limited edition. In this photo, like it almost kind of looks fuzzy, which is interesting. Like it looks like fabric or something like the actual blush does. Okay, um, I'm not really sure why it's limited edition. So I probably don't need this one, which is good. Let's try to keep talking myself out of products. That will be good, that will be good. Um, good Molecules is coming out with their new facial massaging roller. All right, so this is $12. So I actually do have one of these and I, I use it, I use it a lot. It's just nice, it just feels nice. I don't know, I've been really trying to take care of myself trying to take care of myself and uh self-care and like an elevated skincare routine has been something that I've been really falling back on so I have a couple in my collection so I probably wouldn't need this one but $12 isn't a bad price at all um some more skincare that I see coming from Ula Hendrickson this is their wrinkle blur I can never pronounce that word eye gel cream okay so it, this is kind of like a um, a retinol alternative which I have used retinol eye creams and my under eyes did not seem to handle it really well but this is supposed to be like a little bit more gentler uh, but it's $49 that's pretty pricey for an eye cream I mean Ula Henriksen is you know usually up there in price but I don't know I feel like for an eye cream that's that would be too much for me so I'm gonna pass on that one. There is a new brand coming to Target, another new brand. This is the beauty brand Hey Humans, created together with co-founder and creative director Jada, Pinkus, Jada Pinkett Smith. Makes it easy to up your personal care game with proven formulas, eco-friendly packaging, and the most accessible pricing. So there's body wash, a natural deodorant, body lotion, there's fluoride or natural toothpaste. That's really interesting, okay. so. I kind of like that there's like some different products. Like it's not just skincare. It's not just makeup. I kind of like the, the direction that we're going. I mean, you never know when I go to Target, things just find their way. 
into my cart sometimes. I, I just don't really know what happens. I think we are almost finished. I know this week is going to be longer. Um, Pat McGrath is back with her Liquid Lust. Liquid Lust? Legendary Wear Matte Lipstick. Eight new shades of this luxurious cushion soft matte liquid formulation for $30 or you can get the everything kit for $200. Will be available on March 5th. I haven't heard the best formula because I think yeah, it says look who's back. So I've heard some people talk about this formula and they didn't absolutely love it. So at $30, I would probably want to make sure that I'm like really loving it. So I think I'm actually going to pass on that one. And then I see uh, more beauty news. A Freck Beauty is coming to Sephora. Usually I try to be a little bit more like makeup, skincare, maybe even like eyeshadow palettes first, then makeup, then skincare, then beauty news. I know I'm a little bit all over the place. Again, I'm rusty this week, but we also just have a lot to get through. Lot to get through this week, but Freck Beauty is coming to Sephora. So we have the original like freckle pencil. There's a toner, moisturizer, uh, something called a cheek slime. A cheek slime? Okay, all right. Will be available starting March 2nd online and April 9th in stores. So I'm I, I'm actually not super familiar with Freck Beauty myself coming into Sephora. Let us know. Again, a lot of you did say on last week's video where I talked about new brands that you would be interested in like new brands at Sephora and Alta style of video. So stay tuned. I added that, added that to my list. Um, and speaking of Sephora, this is just odd to me. This is the Coach and Sephora collection. That's not necessarily what's odd to me. Like Sephora has done, you know, collaborations with different things my, my brain's like can't speak anymore looking at lights for so long doesn't doesn't know what that feels like anymore the reason why this one confuses me is because looking at it i would not in a thousand years think coach and trust me i used to love coach you know when i wanted to be fancy but i couldn't be fancy i would go to the outlet stores here in iowa and buy like a coach wallet with all of the money that I saved up and the nickels that I took off of the ground so I could have a coach wallet. So I mean, like I've had my fair share of coach products. This doesn't look anything like what I would think from coach. Like I truly was like, do they mean a different coach? I don't know. Maybe it's not the same. Maybe it's like a TV show. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm totally wrong. I just don't know what this is supposed to be. This just like very confuses me. This just very confuses me. I don't really know if that's an actual sentence, but you know, that's going to be a no for me. I don't really get that one. I think that is it. Let me just go ahead and refresh since I know we've been here for a while. Okay, so I think we're good. That should be everything for this week. So I hope you enjoyed this week's Will I Bite video. Thank you for letting me get back into the swing of things. I was going to film another video after this and I'm like, you know what? I think that's good. I think one to start off with is pretty good <laughs> and I don't necessarily like love my makeup or hair today. So sometimes that doesn't really motivate me to film a second video, but let me know what your thoughts are on all of these new makeup releases. I would love to know. Leave them in the comments. As always though, if you enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.